In this demonstration, we're going to focus on how Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central can help you as the sales or marketing director gain more information to help you with your day-to-day -day role. So how, we, how you can interact with opportunities and information and data within the system to make decisions and analyse where trends and maybe new campaigns need to happen. When we log into the role center within Business Central, the view that I'm seeing is tailored to the functionality that I need to do for my job. In this case, I'm logged in as the sales manager role. So I'm seeing information around opportunities and there's a number of different ways I could access them. So I could drill through one of my dashboards, look at new or existing opportunities, or use the queues and filters that will provide me with a breakdown, in this case, of all overdue opportunities. Queues can be configured and tailored either by an administrator or yourself to highlight information even further. So in this case, the number of overdue opportunities is outside our KPI or our threshold. Therefore, it's highlighting in red. That queue acts as a filter and takes me into a list of all overdue opportunities, which I can sort and filter as I want to. Using the hyperlinks that are throughout the system, I can then drill into that data. Over on the right hand side are some statistics, or I can use the menu at the top to navigate into more detail around what's happened with this record card. I can see from the front page that we're still in the initial stage of our sales cycle, but I can see from the log entries of the interactions we've had with this client that actually we may be a little further on. I can look at any comments and I can also add tasks from within here to send um, those to the task list of the salesperson who's responsible for this opportunities management. We can build a custom sales cycle stage that will take our opportunity through the various processes that we need to achieve as a business and also associate with those as percentage chance and probability to allow me to build a sales forecast quickly and easily. Tasks and activities can be quickly and easily added, associated with the relevant contact at the customer business and even assigned to salespeople. It means we can truly manage this opportunity from a single place and the visibility of this will be available throughout those contact records and customer records to the wider business and those people who need to see that information. Tasks can be created on a recurring basis and even be assigned to an entire team so that if it's just a general update that's needed or a general action, anybody can pick that up. As well as reviewing opportunity statuses, it's important as the sales or marketing director for you to have an understanding of what products are selling and where there are other opportunities in the data that's already happened in the system. With Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, there's a number of ways that we can do this. The first and most obvious way is looking at what product we've got on hand. Do we have a surplus of products that we should be promoting and advertising as available to our customers? Business Central has various different ways of looking at this by events, time periods, and just general location availability. The powerful inbuilt reporting within Business Central will allow us to get reports around the statistics of an inventory. So for example, the best selling products in the last time period. Reports can be filtered as they're raised and filters can even be saved so that you can run them again next time quickly and easily. Once generated, those reports can be downloaded, printed or shared via email to the wider team. As well as considering the availability of products, and the best selling items, we also need to look at the age of the products that we've got in stock. Could it be that our surplus is due to the fact that we've overstocked some time ago and it's actually quite slow moving? The reporting will allow me to make those decisions and then I can use the inbuilt integration into Microsoft Teams to communicate with the relevant department to let them know that we need to action something. So we could communicate with logistics to tell them to not order more product. We could tell the sales team to start campaigns 
or marketing activities to contact our customers and try and sell that surplus. Because Business Central sits within the Microsoft 365 platform, we have a single login to all of the Microsoft products that we're licensed to access. It uses the security within the Microsoft 365 platform or complementary products that you may have added. But it does mean that I can truly interact with all aspects of the modern workplace applications without having to log in and out of other applications. Using the app switcher, I'm able to change between Microsoft products. In this case, I can directly access Power BI from the menu. But equally, it can be embedded within Business Central, providing me with a single place of accessing all of my reporting. Power BI surfaces data from multiple applications. It can be connected to multiple databases and will allow you to truly report across an entire business operation. In this case, I've got some dashboards set up specifically accessing the Business Central data allowing me to drill and filter into information that's pulled through from my centralized ERP system. I can equally access online reporting that I've produced within Microsoft Excel. It could be that this is data that I've exported and then manipulated from Business Central, or could be from another application outside of the ERP system. But the Microsoft 365 platform allows me a single place to go and access all of that data and information to allow me to truly analyse my opportunities and information that's already held in systems. Using the tools in Business Central, we can analyse the data and establish what we need to be looking at in terms of marketing activity. But we can also then build those campaigns into the system. We can attribute opportunities to them, tasks and activities, and truly find out the cost of uncovering those new sales. I can run reports around what our current marketing and campaign activities look like and check that we don't already have one configured that I could use. We need to give it um, specific fields and data for it to be able to work, but this is really easy to do within Business Central. We need to give the campaign a reference number so that this is a central link then to that campaign, a relevant description, and a status code. So at what stage in our cycle is this being um, started at? These are the tailorable and customizable to your business process. We need to give the campaign a start date and then we need to look at actually segmenting and filtering the data that's going to sit within this campaign. At this stage, the campaign isn't activated, so we need to just finish off setting it up and adding the relevant information in before we can activate it. Business Central will contain all of our contact records. These could be for vendors, customers, suppliers and prospects. We need to segment that up and we have a number of different options when we do this. The first thing we need to do is give the segment a name. So who are these people or contacts that we need to target? When do we intend on targeting them? And who are the actual contacts that we need to filter through? So these can be existing companies. They could be based on salespeople's um, territories, regions. We can filter down based on mailing groups, interactions that have previously happened, or just as simply as what the current business relationship is. So in this case, I'm only concerned with adding customers into this segment. I need to say what these contacts are. So with, in relation to my campaign, where do they sit? So these are my campaign contacts. So they're my targets. The system will then update those and it will apply the relevant templates, all of which are built in the background. Once I've chosen my targets, I can then choose to activate my campaign. 
I could have associated with this some special pricing and discounts, which would then automatically apply those rules when I'm raising quotes and sales orders. I can then manipulate this further and I can add in how I'm going to interact with these people. And I'm able to log and track those interactions. So it could be that I've attached an, um, a brochure that I want to send to all of these customers. I can simply choose that I'm going to send those attachments out and it will generate that for me. I could choose that I'm going to create an interaction. So I'm going to use the email template again, which can be customized and tailored to yourselves. What the communication type is, who initiated it. And as you can see, there is a quite an extensive list of inbuilt types that are available, but you can equally amend these. And this is an interaction for all types of correspondence across the business. The CRM within Business Central does not only have to sit within the sales team, it can be used for customer services and even things like credit control. Once set up, those interactions can be sent and tracked, allowing me to fully manage this campaign. So we saw there how Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central will allow you to use other modern workplace applications such as Teams and Power BI to communicate with other areas of the business when you're analysing sales opportunities and data. The fully integrated CRM, campaign management and communication tracking ensures that customer service and sales management is priority within the business as it should be.